Hi, this is one of our how-to videos for Middletown Middle School Orchestra. This is a how-to video on vibrato for violin and viola instruments. Um, vibrato is something that came about because most instruments when they were first invented um, were designed to either accompany or to imitate the human voice. And singers, when, when your voice gets trained well enough, you can naturally just vibrate your voice. It's something that just happens. Um, and so instruments created vibrato for almost every single instrument has some kind of vibrato to, to sort of emulate that sound. Um, vibrato works by changing the pitch of each note just a little tiny bit. So I can make something that sounds like... sound a lot prettier if I add a vibrato and change the pitch. Okay, so let's talk about, there's a couple of steps and there's a couple of things we need to be able to do before we can even start thinking about vibrato. Now I know there's going to be some sixth graders watching this video trying to get ahead and trying to learn how to do vibrato, and I can't make you turn off this video, so here's the disclaimer. If you want to try vibrato, you have to do all of the steps in the video. You can't just pick out the steps that you think are easiest or that you're able to do. Otherwise, you're going to learn vibrato incorrectly and it's going to turn into a big mess. Okay? So, sixth graders, think about it carefully. There's two things you have to be able to do if you're going to be able, if you want to try vibrato. One of them is that you have to be able to play in tune. Playing in tune means that you put your fingers down exactly in the right spot to get all of the pitches correctly. If you struggle with this, or maybe if you can't even tell if your notes are in tune when you're playing with another person, you should probably wait because adding vibrato to it is just going to make it more frustrating. The other thing is just having good posture. You have to be able to hold your instrument correctly. You shouldn't have a pizza wrist. Um, you should be able to hold your instrument without your hand. Otherwise, if you're learning vibrato and correct posture at the same time, it's not going to work. So make sure that you can do those two things before you even get started. Okay, we're going to talk about the kind of posture that we need, the kind of setup that we need to have a really good vibrato before we even get into the exercises that we need. First of all, make sure that you have a shoulder rest. If you're using a sponge and it works for you, that's great. If you have something that looks like this or something like this but a little different, that's good too. The point of the shoulder rest is to make sure that you can hold the instrument without your hand. When you put your instrument up, you should be able to let go, and it shouldn't change at all. If your instrument slips forward when you let go of your hand, your hand is doing too much work to support the instrument. You need to make sure that your head is holding the instrument for you. Check yourself right now and make sure you can do this. Next thing, make sure that when you put your left hand up here, that you have a perfectly straight wrist. If you have a pizza wrist, you're going to have a very hard time vibratoing because there's too much of your hand touching the instrument. The last thing is something that's new. Those other two things were things that we learned in sixth grade. We need to make sure that the only parts of our left hand that touch the instrument are the tip of our thumb and the tip of whatever finger we're going to use. So that means when we first learned, we learned to touch right here and we have to create a space in there. Otherwise, anything we try to do with our arm or our hand to get our finger to move is going to be stopped right here. So, um, we can practice, you can try putting something in there like a cork or a crayon or a magic noodle. Or you can just practice getting this shape, but you have to make sure you can hold this spot without squeezing. Okay? If you can do all of those things, you're ready to start vibrato.